But first, let me bring in The Sun's legendary royal photographer and commentator, Arthur Edwards. Arthur, I had to get your take on Prince Harry and Meghan's latest video after reading your brilliant feature in The Sun today. And I just wanted to tell you first up, Arthur, about a poll that we ran on the show yesterday. It's actually had over 12,000 votes, right? And the question we asked was, should Harry and Meghan be stripped of their royal titles after challenging the Queen over the Commonwealth? Even I was shocked with the results, Arthur. 92% of people saying yes. This seems like a spectacular own goal for the Sussexes. Oh, absolutely, yeah. But I think um, I think they're becoming a, a, almost a non-event, Dan. You know, they've... Uh, by isolating themselves in, in Los Angeles, a city of a thousand celebrities, a million celebrities, you know, they've, they've become almost, they don't count anymore. And he just makes these statements every other couple of days just to sort of make himself relevant. But in fact, they day by day, they're becoming less and less important. And, um, you know, the thing about losing the title, I think that, um, you know, if he does come back, and I hope he does, uh, I think, you know, the Prince will... Prince of Wales will want him included in the uh, in the hierarchy of the royals, yeah. but you know her. I mean, I think we'll see her again, Dan. I think she's ever going to come back here. No. I mean, she's just. Um, Would she be welcome to... now, Arthur? Well, I, I tell you what, I've, there's a lot of ill feeling towards her now. I mean, they'll probably find some people that that think she's the uh, the, the greatest, but I, I, I haven't found them anywhere. I've had lots of people today ring me up saying you spot on spot on I think you were spot on there today and people like and, and you know former editors of the paper have rang me and said really enjoyed reading it today but you got it spot on uh, I mean I think the uh, the thing is that um, you know he is uh, you know I, I've covered him for years uh, Dan and he is a fabulous guy when, when you work I mean, in the old you love days, him was, you uh, love Prince he, Harry he, he was he was a star like he would do thing. he would really desperately help you get your stuff in the paper he would I mean, I remember once in, in, in the hills of the Sutu in, in Africa, do you want to, you, you, do you want me to make, make your cup of tea, Arthur? And, and he was really a fantastic person. But ever since he met her, he's gone completely the other way. And do you know, uh, Dan, it, people ignored before the wedding the remarks of, their, of her family. Her brother wrote a letter to Harry saying, I have nothing to do with her, Harry. She, she bankrupted my father. We all, we all thought... Oh, what a terrible family she's got, doing that to her. But you know what? I'm beginning to think we should have listened to them. Well, Arthur, I think that is such a fascinating point. And I have to be honest, I never felt that way, actually. I know most people in the media did, but I uh, spoke a lot to Samantha Markle, her sister, and uh, heard a lot from, from Thomas, her father. Yeah. And a lot of their warnings uh, have now come true and this is a woman who has a track record of ghosting people but i think the thing that was just so outrageous to me this week arthur is she is attacking the life work of of the queen the commonwealth and she doesn't know about the commonwealth arthur you know about the commonwealth as you said in your piece today you've been around with the queen to 43 countries in the commonwealth what does megan know about the commonwealth she lived here for five minutes and now she's gone off back to los angeles exactly and uh, you know it's all about this um Black Lives Matter. She's trying to sort of stir up something in there. Now, look, the Commonwealth have had its problems. I mean, Zimbabwe was uh, kicked out. Uh, Pakistan was suspended. So was South Africa during apartheid. So the Queen has really addressed those things. The, the Commonwealth has addressed those things. But, you know, everything, you make mistakes, Dan, and, and you know, and you, and you try and move on. And, and the thing about the Commonwealth, it's about the present, not the past. And that's what the Queen cares about. And she must have been really upset by that today. And I'm sure if she gets to speak to Harry, she'll let him know in no uncertain terms. Yeah, I mean, it's just, I I just think there are areas that you leave alone. And I feel it's quite ridiculous that, she maintains this role as vice president of the commonwealth trust or whatever it is when Mm. she really hasn't even done her education she doesn't get it and arthur i know a lot about the commonwealth because i grew up in new zealand and i know how important the commonwealth is to countries like new zealand and i also know that actually one of the main positives of the commonwealth is that it was there to 
make up for some of the ills of the British Empire in the past. Certainly in the case of New Zealand, that's absolutely what happened. And the, and the Commonwealth is viewed so positively in New Zealand. And I just don't understand why Megan, who doesn't get it and doesn't understand anything about the heritage of our Commonwealth, is trying to say that we need to have these uncomfortable discussions. What uncomfortable decisions, uh, discussions? What's she actually getting at? I just, it's just yeah. bizarre. But it is, and of course, you know, she's feeding it to Harry, and Harry's saying it. You know, I don't think he believes it for one minute because <laughs> I've been with him. I've been with him in the car. I've been with him in Jamaica and all those Barbados. I mean, I've seen him with. I mean, he's a fantastic ambassador for our country. Unfortunately, for the last couple of years, he's just gone completely sour. And I, and I just, uh, I mean, he didn't talk to me for a year, and you know, I, I've, I've been photographing him since the day he was born. Uh, and it was, you know, down to her. And do you know this, Dan? Well, I asked the, her off, her office three times for for the for the for the royal uh, the royal um, uh, media pack to have a meeting with Megan and meet her and see what you know, so she could meet us, we could meet her. Three times I was promised it, and three times it didn't happen. So, you know, it's she unbelievable. Didn't want that. No, she just wanted to be. I think she moment she married Harry. Right, let's get out of here as quick as we can. I mean, it was ridiculous. I mean, they got all that house refurbished down in, in, in Frogmore. I mean, and the money that was spent on that, and she had no intention of staying there. And, you know, uh, she the last engagement she did down uh, at, uh, at uh, Westminster Abbey, uh, the Commonwealth uh, Service, she came out last because they'd be regulated to the back row. She made a big fuss of the kids out the front kneeling down and, Oh, lovely, lovely pictures. And then she got in the car, when changed her clothes, went straight to Heathrow and caught the first, the last plane to Vancouver. So she had no intention of staying here. It's not in her plans. And she's dragging Harry along, and unfortunately, uh, he's going along with it. And I, I just hope he, he comes to his senses soon. Well, most people seem to think it will happen, Arthur, but it may be a very painful decade before he actually realises what he's lost. And let's just hope that the Queen and Prince Philip are still around to welcome him back with open arms. That is Arthur Edwards, the Sun's legendary royal photographer and commentator.